Hey guys, um, so this is uh, a video that I was pretty excited to do. This is my four um, favorite hairstyles to work out in. So um, a lot of people have noticed from my last couple of videos over my, uh, my weight loss. And thank you for everyone who had such great feedback and support. But um, I thought this, because it's harder for me to do hairstyle videos now because I don't, I rarely do my hair. But I thought it'd be kind of relevant to show my favorite hairstyles while working out. Um, this is definitely not, like big, big disclaimer here, this is not a video on how to make your hair look cute and work out and look cute or glamorous. This is like straight up efficiency. Um, I, what I've learned is that, you know, when you feel good about yourself while working out, like if you, you look good, your hair is neat, you know, you like what you're wearing, you do definitely push and you work harder. Not so much to impress other people, but you feel good about yourself. So when my hair is slicked back and it looks professional and athletic, I definitely I feel like I push harder. So I am showing my four favorite styles. Again, this works uh, different styles for um, cardio, weightlifting, or just whatever you like, what you feel comfortable with. And I hope you guys like this video, and um, I hope it's not too simple for you guys. And so, enjoy! Okay, so this is going to be the first hairstyle I'm going to show you. This is actually my favorite and my go-to one. Um, again, this is not anything glamorous or makes you look particularly good at the gym or wherever you work out. This is best for function and this is just kind of like a midway ponytail. Um, I like having it midway for a lot of reasons. So sorry, it's basically just a sleek ponytail and it's just midway. And it's just my favorite because, you know, I don't have hair bouncing around everywhere. Everything is nice and pulled back and out of my face. And I wear this hairstyle mostly for if I do cardio, so mostly running. Um, so yeah, you just need a brush and I just get all, all the tangles, which I kind of already did. And just part it the way you want. Usually I part my hair in the center like when I'm out, but if for the ponytail I part it um, to the side again just to have, I can pin back my bangs easier. And literally you're just taking your hair and smoothing it into a ponytail. I feel really stupid for making this video now because it's so simple. smooth it out and you can do like a fun high ponytail um, I avoid that because sometimes when you're running it feels heavier because it's just like swinging like that and if it's too low it uh, gets all sweaty and gross at the bottom of my neck so I use two small elastics because I like the way it reinforces but doesn't feel too tight where it gives me a headache and you literally just make a ponytail so it's nice and tight and then you just take a bobby pin so I smooth my bangs back and that is literally workout hairstyle number one. I find it has the best function and then I usually, I love having um, a fabric headband. I feel like they work best. This is the Lululemon one um, and has the uh, rubber edges Oops. on the inside so it sticks because usually I don't like headbands so they fall off but this one sticks really well. And keeps and keeps all the baby hair out. I have my biggest pet peeve when working out is when baby hair um, starts to stick out. So this pack took back like that. And then usually when I run, I wear a hat. Not so much because it's sunny. Sometimes for warmth, and it just kind of keeps everything out of the way. So this is just the New York Yankees hat. Ponytail in, and I'm all set for cardio. So this is my favorite, especially if I'm running outside and when it starts getting cold. Um, um, and I'm, it's not like winter cold where you actually need like running gear, like winter running gear. You just pull down the edges and it covers your ears and you're all warm, head's warm, you won't get sick, you're all set to go. Okay, hairstyle number two is also another really easy one. This is just a very super high bun. I use this mostly for um, any kind of other workout, like weight training, anything that requires me to sometimes be on my back or um, something like that so the ponytail so like a ponytail won't um, be stuck or anything and it just kind of keeps everything up and away so this is kind of like my tight pony uh, sorry tight bun so you're gonna scoop up your hair make sure there's no tangles so it makes it easier when you shower after do it as high as you want I do it pretty high I also try to push my bangs more to the side because I don't so then I won't have the little ends that stick up here Again, I'm going to take my two small elastics. I find this the most secure because it, um, it's not like the big thick ones where it's really tight on my head. And, but this one has enough um, security. So, sorry. You're going to take one first. And you're just going to do a high ponytail. And you're just going to get that as tight as you can. 
Hold tight. And you're gonna take your finger and you're just literally just gonna twist your hair. So tight as you can, and you're gonna wrap it around. And you're just gonna wrap it around the base as tight as you can. Take your other elastic and just wrap it around the whole bun. Oops. I don't wanna snap the elastic. Okay. So literally a tight, easy bun. Again, pull your bangs back, or if you don't have bangs, make sure everything's out of your face so it doesn't stick to your face after you don't get distracted. Literally, like, it doesn't move. I can jump around. I can do jumping jacks, burpees, and nothing's coming out. <laughs> and again, if I want, I can wear my trusty old headband, which I really recommend. Not this brand in general, but having a headband like this in your gym bag, it always just comes in handy. And yeah, this is basically the second workout. Great for weight training or um, Pilates, stuff like that. Okay, so this is kind of like hairstyle number two and a half because it's not really that different. This is just another bun. Um, if you're the kind of person where, let's say you have straight hair and you need a hairstyle that's not gonna put a lot of pressure and crimp to your hair so you can still like take it out and brush it. I've done this hairstyle and I find it very useful if I'm going out after. Um, put your hair in a high bun. Again, this is great for um, weight training, um, Pilates. I wouldn't do it for cardio because it would fall out pretty easily. And you're gonna pull it as high as you want actually. And I have my two elastics. And this is the simple one. You make the ponytail and then on the last one, twist. And you're gonna pull your hair through, kind of halfway, not too much. And like that. And you're just gonna pull it. This is a super easy, this is not even considered a bun, but I like it because it doesn't put too much pressure on my hair. It's kind of fun, relaxed. Um, gets everything out of the way, you can still lay back on any benches and do whatever you want, but definitely not good for bouncing around because your hair will start to fall out and piss you off. So this is kind of like a half hairstyle. Okay, for this last hairstyle, I had to go ahead and do one side or it would just take too long to show both. Um, this is great for people with uh, curly hair. Uh, if you uh, work out and then you have to go out after, go to work, go to school, this is a great way just to kind of like put it all together without putting a lot of pressure on hair, kind of keep your curls together. And then um, afterwards, you take them out, you know, fluff it out, do whatever you have to. Um, also great for people with straight hair. This kind of just, again, keeps it all together, keeps it flat. People who don't want to, again, uh, put, do that, like, crease line thing. Or just something, even if you just feel better about yourself when your hair is more down, but you don't want it to be in the way, a French braid is better. This is actually technically a Dutch braid. And the reason why it's a little bit different, um, it, like, braids out. And I do it more forward, because that's how I, like, to have it done but anyway so I did one side and you're gonna do the other so this is kind of easy for people who know how to braid you're just gonna take that top section I just went downwards and I really hope this lighting is okay so I'm just gonna start off a braid by taking three individual pieces you gonna start a braid so you're gonna grab the outside piece you can see and then you're just gonna take a little bit of hair from the same section or like from the same side of hair and you're gonna braid that in. And don't forget to pull tight. You want it to be nice and tight. Well, actually you don't have to make it tight but I find it better so no baby hairs get out. So again, the outside piece, grabbing more hair, putting it into the section and braiding it in. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the best way to show this and have more lighting or it could be because my hair is so dark. And you're going to keep on going. You're always only just taking sections for the outside pieces because when you cross it in, the middle section becomes a new outside section, so on and so forth. And again, I am braiding it. Instead of braiding it towards the back of my head, I braid it towards my ear. I like the way it looks better, especially when it comes to working out. I know that sounds weird, but um, it reminds me of like a fighter hairstyle. So yeah, you're going to keep on going until you get to the bottom. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I have finished both braids. And another reason why this hairstyle is good is just because when you braid it towards your ear, it's a lot quicker because there's less space to braid down and you can make it tighter, whereas if you do the back, you don't have as much control. Um, also, it's good that, so if you don't like the pigtails hanging down, I'm okay with it. You can just 
pull it back around and you can either do the uh, milkmaid braid thing. It doesn't work for my hair because I, I have an ombre, but you just take some pins, you pin it down and it will just kind of stay secure. Or if you don't want to fuss with that, you can also take the braids and twist them, kind of like loop them together into a bun. I don't want to do too much detail and then you pin it. This is for people who just don't want it hanging out but have everything secure. Um, it's also a good idea for afterwards if you have to go out after and your hair is already in the braids, you can do the milkmaid braid, uh, braid, or sorry, the style or the braided bun style and just, you know, throw in some more pins. You can stretch it out, loosen it, take out some ends, hairspray, and it just kind of creates a casual, um, kind of like a well maintenance look without a lot of effort, especially right after the gym, it's quick. Um, but yeah, it's also it. And you can also use this style for running. And again, just throw on your cap over it or, you know, headband. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was just happy to do a non-outfit video. And um, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.